put it up against the guide block and push it through. Put it up against the nutcracker and go slowly through. Don't pull it straight back. Put it away from the blade. Cut again. Go slowly through the Move it away from the blade. Put it up against there. This machine takes a long time to stop. I just push stop. It takes about 35 to 45 seconds to stop. So you need to stay standing here until it comes to a complete stop. You do not want to try to get that piece of wood while the blade is still moving. This is one of the reasons why we don't want to distract the person working here. If they're waiting to make it stop and you distract them and they try to get it while the blade is moving, things can happen. If you have a leftover piece, you give it to the next person. If there is not enough, if there's just a little piece left over, bring it to me, then I will give you a longer one. Oh, then, once it is stopped, you take these three pieces. Eventually, we're going to carve or sand part of the edges away, so you don't want to stamp your name around the outer edge. If you have a long name, you're going to have to get creative and try to fit it in this square. If you are stamping with the wooden stamps, there is a notch. Which way does the notch face when you hit it? So make sure the notch faces you. Mahogany is a little harder than pine, so you're going to have to lift this up a little higher and have a little better aim. Do not hammer it like this. You don't get as much power as you do here. Don't start at the very corner. Start somewhere away from the edge because you're going to file about an eighth of an inch from each side. So somewhere in the center. Be creative if you have a long name. If you have a short name, you can be creative too. There you stamp it. Also, when you do this step, you want to do it on the step or the side opposite of where your name is. Don't stamp over your name. It's too hard to sand pencil marks off after you stamp. If you have the plastic box, what faces you when you hit it? One fourth. There's a fourth of an inch stamped on here. Make sure that faces you. And once you're done stamping, you have a sharp pencil and trace them 